Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB. We're going to do a head shaving video today and before you turn away I just want to let you know I'm going to give you a sneak peek at a really cool giveaway I'm going to announce tomorrow. But uh, in the interim we're going to talk a little bit about the soap which is Sterling Island Man. Sterling makes some of the best quality soaps for the money in my opinion. Um, on the per ounce basis it is fantastic and it really at any cost it's a really really good soap. This is a citrusy type scent. Again, go look at the website for the notes description. I like it a lot, and they are good people. So you can buy from folks like Rod and, and Mandy with confidence. And I'm also going to talk about a, an email exchange I had with a lady uh, representative um, from Harry's. So I want to get into that a little bit because it's. I just found it to be an interesting uh, conversation. So without further ado, let me wet the dome. We'll start lathering, and I'll start telling you a little bit about Harry. Stay tuned. All right, and here we go with our Island Man by Sterling, which is wonderful stuff. Again, wonderful people. To the conversation, uh, email conversation I had with the, the lady from um, Harry's. I think her name was Katie, I want to say. Um, so my wife the other day came home with... Uh, a package of Gillette blades which cost 30 bucks and I think there was eight or I don't know how many were in there um, anyway it was 30 bucks it was I was like oh my goodness uh, she doesn't use safety razors and one thing about me I don't push traditional shaving on people if they find the channel and they're into it and they like it that's great but I don't push it on anyone I don't really go out and um, you know, try to sell people on it. I merely put the channel up, and if you like it, you like it. And if you're interested, you know, if it piques their curiosity and they try it, I think they'll like it. But anyway, so my wife is not a traditional shaver, and she came home with the Jet Lets, and she was like, man, this is uh, 30 bucks for these eight blades or whatever it was. I, I can't recall the, the cost, but whatever the cost, it was twice as expensive as Harry's. So I went online and I ordered uh, a Harry's razor for her because she, she likes to use carts for her legs and all that good stuff. And um, during the, after the sale, I should say, I got a little survey and it asked, you know, how many days a week do you, so I just answered it for me, you know. Um, how many days a week do you shave? Seven. Um, do you shave your head? Yes. And so on and so forth. And then shortly after, I got an email from the lady Carrie or Katie, excuse me, at Harry's, saying, uh, "You know, Harry, we really didn't design Harry's for head shaving, and if that's your purpose for using it, um, or only purpose, uh, we would like to offer you a refund." And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I've been using it for I don't know several months now, and it works beautifully." I mean, it, it is one of my favorite, by far, devices to shave my head with. This, the head blade, and the like, Schick Extreme 3 for disposable. But this is probably my favorite. It's right there with the head blade in the, at, at a minimum. And so, I replied back and I said, hey, you know, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I'm sort of a shave enthusiast. And here's my channel. And Harry's works beautifully for shaving my head. In fact, it's, you know, one of my best head shaving ra razors, if not the best. And, you know, I just gave her a little background and then she replied and basically said the same thing. Thank you. We appreciate it. But, but <laughs> we didn't uh, design Harry's for the head. The contours on the face are different from the head and all that good stuff. And I was like, I get that. <laughs> I do. But what I'm saying is, I'm a, you know, when it comes to shaving my face, and even my head at this point, I'm an expert in shaving my face. I'm not a shaving expert. But in shaving my face and head, you know, I'll call myself an expert. Not shaving yours, not an expert at anything else, but my own circumstance, situation, and set of factors. I said, you know, once again, you know, I replied, and I'll get to the reply uh, after I lather up it again here because I just found it to be an interesting um, exchange. Let me just add a little water here. 
actually missed a strip there, so let's get that while we're talking. Anyway, um, I just found it to be a really interesting exchange because I, finally on the third time I replied, I said, "My, may I ask why you're, you're pretty, you know, you're you're making the point that it's not for your head, and we recommend it only for face." I mean, she said that several times, and she was being, she was sticking to the script. I mean, a hundred percent without DVA. Even when I told her, "Look, I use this thing all the time for my head. I'm a, I'm an experienced shaver, and I'm a, an enthusiast, and I use and I had told her I use, I've used straight razors." Um, cart razors, um, electric razors, uh, safety razors, of course. And I, and I, you know, I went on to say that out of all that I've used for the purposes of my head, I really like Harry's. And she just held her ground in terms of saying it's not recommended for your head. You know, it is designed for your face. And so when I asked, you know, may I ask why you're really hammering that point home, she just said, yeah, it, just because of the contours of your face is different from your head. And I think it was nice of them to, to offer a refund for starters. Um, a lot of companies wouldn't do that. But I was a little bit taken aback, just slightly, by the fact that I kept trying to explain my own situation. And it's like she wasn't having anything of it. It was like they're only designed for your head. And maybe that's just their... Um, they're required to do so maybe by Harry's. I don't know. But I was a little taken aback by because she was really uh, insistent that it is not for my head. And I'm like, but it works great. You know, it's, it's, it was just an odd conversation, particularly because uh, it works perfectly for my head. And this particular razor, as I've said before, when I use a sa safety razor, it tends to cut some of the I think they're called ch cherry angiomas. I have some, you know, here and there. But when I use Harry's and like um, head blade, it doesn't. So it works just absolutely beautiful. And like I said, she was insistent that Harry's is not for your head. It is not designed for, and I, I get all that. I do, that they designed it with your face in mind and it works very well for that application. But for me, I found that it also works super for my head, despite being designed for the face. And how many blades are specifically designed for the head that are out there, other than the head blade? Um, I don't know if there are many. I'm not aware of them. So pretty much everybody has been shaving their heads with carts or safety razors or, or you know, there really, to my knowledge, isn't a lot of razors specifically for your head there there might be um, but I'm not aware of them I'll do one more pass just because I'm having a good time here but uh, anyway it was just odd because here I was you know plugging with Harry's the virtue of you know like hey this works great I mean you know the, the first time she told me it was only designed for for a face was enough really because I, okay, I, I do understand that, but maybe they're required to, I don't know, but I sort of tried to get her off her script and to sort of explain, hey, I, I understand what you're saying, I, I got you, but it's it's fantastic, and she was not <laughs> going to receive the uh, praise for Harry's being great on the head. So, my recommendation for you, and this is me, not Harry's, is... You know, use it for whatever you want, um, legs, face, you know, and if it works, great, you know, go with it. If it doesn't, you know, no problem, but you may receive an email like that if you say it's for legs or arms or face. Um, now, she did go on to say that they're in the process of designing uh, razors, I think, for the head and Maybe for ladies, I, I can't recall. So don't quote me on that. But um, I just found it to be odd. I have never had that experience before with a vendor. Usually a vendor will take any compliment you give them. And if you explain further, like, hey, you know, I understand what you're saying, but I'm a bit of a shaving enthusiast. And, 
you know, I've been doing this quite some time and I've used lots of different things and this thing works as good as any. Um, they're like, okay, we understand. We just wanted to make sure you knew um, that it wasn't specifically done, designed for your head. But again, most razors aren't. <laughs> so most razors aren't designed for your head, other than head blade, to my knowledge. There might be others that I you know, haven't tried, but uh, it was weird. It was the weirdest exchange um, where I've tried to, you know, explain, hey, I'm telling you, this is how it works for me. She was basically, I'm telling you, and it, she wasn't rude, don't get me wrong. Um, she was just really holding firm to that line, and uh, I was, you know, I, I was just, I don't know, I don't know how I felt about it. Part of me was like, lady, can I just have a conversation with you that's, you know, off the company line? And the other part was, um, okay, I understand they're... You know, they don't want people thinking it's specifically for head shaving. I don't know. But uh, if you see this video, if you see this video, Harry's, um, as you can see, it's working uh, fantastically. There are no cuts, sweepers, creepers, irritation. So it does work. And uh, this is proof. <laughs> it works just fine. And in fact... I get baby butt smooth or level cue balls, I like to call it. My head feels as smooth as a cue ball after I use the hairy. So, um, and my wife will use it for her legs and underarms and so forth. And I don't know if it's designed for that, but I'm sure she'll like it because it's, you know, um, your choices are then your, you know, Chic and, and uh, Gillette and Harry's is uh, cheaper. And in my opinion, works just as well because I've tried this. Uh, Harry's razor against the, what is it, the fusion with the, the funny ball thing, the, their newest monstrosity, and I prefer this one, the Harry's, whether it be for face or head, quite frankly, I prefer the Harry's, and it works great, and uh, that's all there is to that, and I haven't talked much about sterling, but as you can see, there's lots of, of residual slickness there, otherwise I wouldn't be able to continue to you know, touch these areas up. And just like that, I've got a fantastic head shave with the Harry's that's not designed for head shaving, folks. Not designed for it. Yikes. All right. Let me uh, rinse the dome. We'll come back and do the post day two. All right. And in comes the magic made by witches, Thayer's. And I'm afraid now I'll get an email from Thayer saying, it's not for your head. <laughs> but it worked beautifully on my head. It's not designed for your head. Okay, Thayer's. They won't do that. They've seen my videos and praise of theirs, and, and they accepted the compliment. Unlike Harry's, I'm giving Katie a hard time. Actually, she was perfectly nice. I just want to—I just found it odd that she wouldn't accept that it actually works great for the head. So let me give you a sneak peek as to the get a giveaway that's coming up tomorrow. And this is something that's not out yet, and sort of a trial. I don't know if this will go for sale, but the folks at Timeless have been kind enough to give me one of these to give away to you, kind folks. And check that out. It's got their logo on the on the sleeve, on the breast there, and on the back. So it is a polo shirt. And this is not all. All right. So there'll be a couple other things, but I don't want to spoil it. Don't email me yet saying I want in. Wait until tomorrow's video, Shay video. I will announce it then and use one of the products, it will be for giveaway next week. So keep that in mind. And thank you to Matt at Timeless. And uh, they sent that to give away, and I'm going to buy one for myself, quite frankly, maybe two, because I do like it. So hopefully they'll get a bunch in, and I personally will pull the trigger on one. Oh, that's a bad, bad time to say pull the trigger. I will buy one. Sorry if I was not sensitive. I, I just meant by it. Uh, anyway, the aftershave today is uh, Soap Smooth Lime Soda, which I like a lot. Um, nice and citrusy. I usually use um, Sterling aftershaves with Sterling soaps, but today I just wanted the Soap Smooth because uh, it's quite a nice 
aftershave and this one is a very bright lime and uh, I like it a lot and the folks at Soap, Soap Smooth are nice people to boot. Okay folks, thanks as always for watching. Uh, again, we used a Harry's razor even for my head. Risking life and limb for you people who are viewers of this channel using the razor that was not designed for head for head shaving flawlessly. So there you go, Harry's. I'm a fan of Harry's, by the way. I love it. I'll continue to buy it regardless of that quirky conversation. Um, the brush, by the way, was Razor Rock uh, Big Brew. It's one of my favorite brushes. I think I paid like $12.95 for it. It is fan. Fantastic. The logo is starting to come off a little bit, but I'll always know what it is and I'll always enjoy it. Last but not least, Island Man by, Her by, by Harry's. I'm hung up on Harry's now. Island Man by Sterling. Great people at Sterling. They make great products across the board. Go and check them out if you wish. Thanks as always for watching, folks. Until next time, let's help the entire world shape great once again.